Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we will be doing a, a dash or a dotted line surrounding um, a photo or a picture. In this case, we're going to do a, a dashed line, um, not a dotted one, a dashed line over surrounding um, a cat, picture of a cat. So for this, what you do is you add a page you go to the left hand side of your Canva program and you click, in my case I clicked on photos and then I typed in cat. So when I typed in cat, now these are the free versions here and I click that one. Okay. Now, once you do that, now this one doesn't have a background. Now if you if you chose a photo um, that had a background then you, and you had a Canva Pro account, you can always remove the background on Canva itself. But if you didn't, then you'd have to go to a free program such as um, www.remove.bg slash upload and remove the background and then upload it here. But in this case, this one um, does not have a background and how you'd know is if you click this and then you go up here to the colors and let's say you just click any color you see so you know okay so let's just take that out for now now what we're going to do is we are going to do a dash dot line now this will be good for a book let's say you're doing a book for scissor skills for young um, young children who are going to cut along the outline of whatever photo that you have so you go to elements and you click on lines now you can see lines and shape or you can just type in lines okay? and you get this now you want to choose one that's you can either choose this which is dashed uh, dash so you can't see it now right because if you go up here it's white so we make it black and we Go to the dash one and we do that okay and we increase the the weight can you see it's being increased here see we go back and you can see you can increase it okay now if it's for little children the, the bigger it is the better right so once you've done that you go to however thick you want it and then you can just rotate it and bring it down so you rotate it to where you want it space it to where you want it okay. smaller and then you duplicate it so when you click that it, a plus sign appears so you duplicate that and then you space it out now you can decrease it and increase it to follow the, the outline, okay? Duplicate that again. And then you move it. Another one. Move it out a bit more. So you can do a, a book, let's say, for kids to um, cut. Further from the, the object, duplicate it again. So, this is how you're going to do it. So, you keep doing this till you get the outline that you want. Okay, so this is smaller here, duplicate that. So you keep doing that. We will push this here a bit. rounder here. It depends. You can have a rounder version or over here you can have it sharp like that. Okay. So 
like that. Then it. it the way you want it to. So since we did that rounded, so let's do that rounded as well. Right here. Now you can go all the way down here, but let's say you don't want to go all the way down and you just want it right to the bottom, flush to the bottom. So all you do then is just uh, select all, you group it, and everything moves together, okay? And then now you need to ungroup it, and you do another one. Click here, duplicate that. There you go. It's as simple as that. Now, over here, it looks like a pencil sketch, and that's easy to do. You just click the image, you go to edit image, okay, and then you go to adjust, click the adjust. You can make it brighter if you want, depending on how you want it. But the most important is the blur function. You go to the blur function and you take it all the way down. So when you take it all the way down, if you look at it, it looks like a, a pencil sketch, but a colored pencil sketch. So that's when you start adjusting the brightness, the contrast, saturation. And there you go. You get it. See? Now, if you see, this part here is a bit smooth. Now, that's because the photo itself, see, if I add another page and I go back to that one, if you look at the photo, if you see here, it's smooth. So, of course, this program um, can't do a sketch for that part, which is smooth. So, you might need to do some manipulation, like um, maybe putting some example, let's say, shapes, okay, so you take that shape, maybe you can just, so this takes a bit of manipulation, it's not as simple as just going in and doing it, okay, so you perhaps do that. 
bring it down because you want to get rid of course then you'd have to, to change the dashed part of it okay that's just one part so what you do then is you need to change it to white I guess you know what I'm trying to, to do here right I'm not going to go into that right now because that's not what this uh, tutorial is about. But you get what I'm trying to say, right? So now it looks like so you need to. This one needs a bit of adjustment. You might you might need to take the round one and you know give it a bit of a curve, a bit of a curve here and things like that. So, but that's how you do that one. Okay, so this is very simple, and that's how you do it. Okay. Now this one is a bit lighter is because the saturation was I should go there. Let's see we go back here. See brightness I went up to 65 and the saturation I went all the down to all the way down to minus 10. So if you, if you click here, see that's where you can see the blur is all the way down, saturation is all the way down, and clarity is all the way up. But if you click here, you can see it's not the same. So if I brought this up a bit more, to 65, saturation down blur, and clarity. This clarity, if I brought all the way up, you can see it's a bit lighter. So you need to play around with that, and that's how you do that. So I hope you like this tutorial. It's very easy. Um, anyone can do it. You can even create a book to be sold on uh, maybe on Amazon, KDP. And this is how you do, uh, it's like for children to cut along the edges, the outline of um, the animals. Okay, so I hope you like this. If you did, please do comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know what else you'd like to see. Bye.